Hi, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Be Better with myself, Ginger Wilcox. In this series, we bring you insights from our esteemed Better Homes and Gardens network, along with conversations with industry standouts, influential authors, and leading business figures. It's all about embracing a variety of perspectives. Our goal, to empower and to inspire each of us to take charge of our careers and our businesses and to wholeheartedly celebrate our successes. Today, I am very excited to welcome Tim Smith, top producing agent and partner with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate, MCR Bahamas. Welcome, Tim. Hey, Ginger, thanks for having me. Uh, Let's start off by having you tell us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been in the business and how you got into real estate. So about myself, I was born and raised in the Bahamas, specifically Nassau. I've been in the business now about over eight years. Um, I've been a partner with the brand over three years and I got into real estate. I started in accounting when I moved back to the Bahamas. I lived in Georgia for four years for school and real estate was something that I just kind of stumbled into. It wasn't my plan, but it just turned out to be an industry that I found out that I had a great passion for and that I was really good at. So here I am eight years later. Um, Well, we're excited to have you. The start in accounting is not normally what I see as sort of a typical path, but I'm sure that there's a lot that you've brought into um, into the business from that that starting point. Can you tell us how that's helped you become a a top agent? Yeah, so I was in... I worked for a big four accounting firm originally, and I think it really just gave me a really strong foundation for real estate. I think that it got me used to pushing long hours in real estate right now. I tell people all the time that I work 24 seven, so I'm always on. And I think it really gave me a great foundation, like I said, because it really gave me uh, ability to work out numbers, no business. And I think a lot of my clients not only buy for leisure purposes, but they're buying for investment purposes as well. So it allowed me to really break down the deal, the numbers, and just really let a lot of my clients know why some of the properties are great buys from an investment standpoint. And I could kind of break into the numbers, return on investment, you know, their closing fees, stuff like that. Yeah, I can see where that would really, um, really be relevant because real estate is one of those vehicles for to to ultimately to build build wealth and and be a, a financial asset for people. So I think that that really makes a lot of sense. You know, you part of that is also because your market in the Bahamas is quite a bit different. It's really known for being sort of luxury and high end. What distinguishes the Bahamas from other luxury markets um, that we may see? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the Bahamas is a very unique place, a very unique market. I think we have a lot of beautiful homes and a lot of great environments um, here, a lot of natural beauty that a lot of people gravitate towards. And that's what really drives the demand for a lot of people wanting to come to the Bahamas. So it's just that natural beauty, the great weather, as well as our proximity to the United States. You could get from the Bahamas to Miami in less than 30 minutes. We're on the same time zones as a lot of the East Coast. So that's what a lot of the people really love about the Bahamas and its market. And like you said, you could see price points anywhere from, you know, the hundreds of thousands to most expensive 60, 70 million dollar homes. So our price points can get up there. But again, the demand is there. A lot of people want to be in the Bahamas. Um, we were talking uh, uh, probably a, f- a few weeks ago, and one of the I have always said the Bahamas was somewhat inaccessible from the West Coast where I live, but that's actually changing. There's now direct flights from LA, if I if I recall correctly. Yeah, so we now have three direct flights out of LA, which is great. It allows people to really get to the Bahamas in uh, a really easy and quick convenient flights. So I'm glad that they brought those on board and it allows a lot of those people from the West Coast to get here quite easily. Um, well, that's great. If What would you give advice to for foreign investors? What should they know about purchasing property in the Bahamas? How's it, how's it different and what should they be thinking about? Yeah, so I think a lot of foreign investors that look at the Bahamas, there's two really big reasons that they're buying in the Bahamas is either for leisure purposes, a lot of people love the country, it's natural beauty, 
And it's just a great place to be. But there's another component is that a lot of people like to take advantage of our tax regime over here. We don't have capital gains tax. We don't have inheritance tax. We don't have income tax. So a lot of people end up putting their permanent residency here in the Bahamas to take advantage of those tax um, benefits. And real estate is the vehicle that drives that. If you purchase something for $750,000 or above, it allows you to put your permanent residency here in the Bahamas. Okay. Um, very helpful to know that. Uh, another big trend that we're seeing um, kind of everywhere, but I'm curious how it's impacting the Bahamas is, is sustainability. And what are you seeing with that in, in your market? Yeah, sustainability is a big part of our culture. I think a lot of people are paying more attention to sustainability. And I think a lot of people are gravitating to the Bahamas because they kind of want that remote living, that off the grid style living. Um, even through COVID, a lot of people start to want more privacy, um, more remote living style living. So that's what's attractive about the Bahamas. You have people that are taking advantage of, of solar, wind, um, you know, so there's a lot of sustainable efforts that are, you know, impacting our industry and us as a country, we also are, are very aware of that. You know, we've gotten rid of plastics here in the Bahamas. So people who are into that and promote and, um, are really into living a sustainable life. The Bahamas is a great place to be. Um, that's, that's great. I love to hear that. Uh, so let's shift gears just a little bit. I absolutely love following you on social media. It's, of course, there's amazing houses that you're always looking at. I see a lot of uh, golf as well, which is, is is exciting to see. You're really active there. How do you um, how do you manage planning and posting all of your content? And how has that really driven changes for your business? Yeah, so my content has come a long way. I've been very active on social media, probably for about even before I got into real estate, I was very um, active on social media. But um, it all started with me really individually um, honing in on me wanting to be on social media, posting a ton of content. And I used to do my own editing, all of my posting myself. But now I'm fortunate enough that I have a team around me that can help me with those day to day tasks, filming content, editing, posting across all social media platforms, whether it's Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, you name it. We want to be on every social media platform. And it's really the team around me that really helps me to keep up with that with daily posting and putting out the content that's needed for me to be consistent on social media. What types of content are you finding is most impactful? And um, and how do, you, how do you think about that as the types of content to post? Yeah, I think it's something about real estate that everyone loves. I think a lot of people just love my content because I get them access into these really high end, beautiful homes and properties. And it's just a way through my account that people are able to experience that themselves. I think that's what's gravitating. Uh, that's what's causing a lot of people to gravitate towards my social media accounts. So I think I just have leaned into that and really just post a lot of my real estate content as well as my lifestyle content as well. I do a lot of fishing. I do a lot of boating, a lot of the golf, like you said, a lot of people love to see that. And, and so that's what I've really been posting a lot of. Well, I think you do a really good job of, of showcasing the lifestyle in the Bahamas because I have to say that I really enjoy looking at your posts. It makes me want to hop on an airplane. And and so kudos to you for the work that you're doing there. I, I really think that it it showcases a, a true lifestyle and obviously some beautiful properties too. Um, so what motivates you to continue to, to grow and, and be better um, than the year before each year? Yeah, so... What really motivates me, I'm, I'm a really competitive person, so I always just want to do better than the year before, as well as, you know, my pride for the brand and our company, just making sure that we achieve our goals to be the number one brand and company in the Bahamas. And just to really just for myself personally, I want to make sure that I continue to elevate myself every year and, and be a top performer within the brand. So. That's kind of the motivation for me every year to kind of do better. 
and um, just really be competitive on a local and a global level. Uh, well, it's your competitive spirit uh, shines through and it's always it's always great to see. What are you looking forward to next? What's your big goal? Yeah, so me, I think I just take every year, one year at a time. So, um, you know, I just focus in like we spoke about every year. I want to just kind of improve every year. But I think my goal is really to just take the brand uh, through my content and really just give the exposure needed to the brand here locally and globally and just put us on the map. I think through COVID, the Bahamas just turned out to be one of the places that everyone wanted to be. It gave the country a lot of exposure and just to continue to grow that exposure and really just do well and promote a lot of real estate. Uh, well, that's uh, that's a really great goal. And it's so great to see your continued success and how you represent Better Homes and Gardens real estate in the Bahamas. Um, you are just uh, achieving great things. And I look forward to continuing to see all of your great social media content. Thank you so much for being here today, Tim. Thank you for having me, Ginger. And I hope to see you in the Bahamas soon.